Empaths have the ability to read other people's emotional energy, but they also possess a number of other extraordinary abilities that they may not be aware of. They can employ these abilities for their own gain as well as for the benefit of others. Being sensitive to others' emotions and being able to walk a mile in their shoes make empaths vulnerable to being exploited by others, as well as having their energy levels depleted by supposed friends or even family. Being an empath is a superpower because empaths are born with a variety of empathic abilities that, when properly harnessed, may be used to better their lives and, more significantly, the lives of others. Empaths may be a force for good in society if they recognize their empathic skills. Empaths can moderate their weaknesses by being conscious of their strengths, making them less vulnerable to energy vampires and social manipulators. In this video, we will discuss 10 uncommon superpowers that the empath has. Stay tuned until the end. Sign number one will inspire you. Now, let's get started. Number 10. Empaths have the ability to read people's minds. Empaths can work on honing their empathetic skills, making them stronger and more magnetic. Reading someone's mind is not how it is depicted in the movies. In real life, it is a challenging and delicate undertaking. An empath can tell when someone is lying or pretending to be something they're not. They can read a person's body language, energy, and communication style for clues. Sometimes they receive visions and have dreams that clue them in to what someone else is thinking. Everyone can read a person's behavior, but empaths take it a step further by connecting all the data they collect to come to a conclusion about someone. Number 9. Empaths are sensitivity ninjas. Empaths do not like to dispute or debate. Instead, they enjoy considering another person's point of view. They can use that ability to help themselves as well as others. Their bird's eye view of a situation can allow them to step back from the details of it and focus on important problems. They can remove themselves from situations and focus on self-compassion. They are good at recognizing the meaning behind certain situations. That affects how they relate to others. When they use their gift of sensitivity, they can restore equilibrium to the world. When they take responsibility for their gifts, they can decipher the underlying meaning of what is happening in their bodies, their businesses, and on the planet. If you're sensitive to fragrances, sounds, or anything else, make use of it. Rather than feeling burdened by it, strive to make it work for you. You can also use it for the public good, such as creating peaceful meditation areas where you can relax and invite others. You can use your sensitivities to make the world a better place. Your ability to empathize isn't a flaw. Sure, your sensitivities might make you feel overwhelmed and exhausted, but they can also be channeled in a way that brings you serenity and enjoyment. Make an effort to improve your talents and make the most of every situation. You don't have to go overboard with optimism. All you have to do is make it bearable for yourself and others. Number eight, empaths have a strong sense of intuition. Empaths can master their energy and emotion, as well as learn to respect and trust themselves. Everyone has intuition, but an empath's intuition is more literal. They have a survival intuition which protects them from physical harm and warns them about a negative energy and other people's activities. When they ignore that intuition, they violate that energy. They have to have a strong sense of self and respect for themselves in order to accept intuitive instruction. When they don't have self-esteem and self-respect, their relationships are uncertain, their intuition is off, and their lives feel out of control. Number seven, empaths have psychic powers. Empaths are physically attuned in addition to being emotionally endowed. Sometimes they receive signals about someone they know. Similar to intuition, these signals can occur in a variety of forms. They can be hundreds of miles away from someone and still get a sense of what they are going through. Empaths have a remarkable ability to view and analyze a situation from various perspectives. An empath can be a seer in critical situations because they can see a situation from the perspective of everyone involved, as well as pick up on underlying themes and symbols. The empath can distance oneself from the issue and assess what's at its core with this profound insight. This means that an empath is much more likely to find the ideal solution or compromise for every argument, as well as be able to solve the problems of individuals they care about. As a result, persons with strong empathetic abilities have the potential to become visionary leaders. Number six, empaths have a physical presence. 
Every human being, species of animal, and plant has life. But energy can be shielded when people create a shield to create distance. When empaths learn how to, they can see past the barriers of form and separation. They can amplify positive energy, tap into their inherent abilities, and show up when others need them. Many people would rather shelter themselves than fully expose themselves. An empath can make someone feel good about themselves and make them feel safe to express their ideas and feelings. Their presence can actually be a healing tonic for hearts in need because they can see, feel, and understand other people on a deep level. Enjoying the video so far? Then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more insightful psychology videos like this one. You'll only get smarter and it's free. Number five, empaths have the ability to heal. Empaths have the ability to heal themselves and others. Some of them have not accepted that fact. They still strive to be normal. They have noticed that they have that ability, but just want to fit in. They don't want to be seen as weird or different. When they become bold, courageous, and outspoken people with confidence, they can gain clarity. With hard work and assistance, they can learn to heal themselves and others. Number four, empaths have ingenuity. Most empaths are creative. They often become business owners, healers, or people who work in the arts, such as design, marketing, film, architecture, and teaching. They have the ability to turn thoughts into something practical, which is one of their inherent skills. They make their dreams come true. When they put this ability to use, they are making humanity better. Empaths are more likely to pursue creative endeavors such as acting, as Nicole Kidman did, or entrepreneurship, as Oprah Winfrey did. Healing, design, art, marketing, teaching, and architecture are all frequent life paths for empaths. It's unclear why this happens, but it could be due to their capacity to translate abstract concepts like emotions into concrete forms like solutions. It is critical for empaths to recognize and accept their artistic side. While some empaths excel at analytical or athletic careers, many empaths find their real calling in creative endeavors. Empaths typically feel unfulfilled in their life until they recognize this, and the pressure to conform to more conventional jobs can lead them to burying their strengths. Number three, empaths have the power to see what's wrong with the world and how to fix it. Many people in the world deal with anxiety, depression, and weariness in private. Sometimes people are subjugated by their government or their bosses. People become addicted to food, alcohol, narcotics, social media, TV, technology, and hookups to treat the wounds that are deep within their soul. But when they wake up the next morning, they don't feel any different. The global change from fear to love will occur when empaths come out of hiding and take responsibility for their gifts. When they try to just fit in, they just feel more miserable. When they learn how to navigate their gifts, they grow in self-confidence. When that happens, they figure out how to see the world for what it is and how to change it. Number two, empaths are visionary leaders. Empaths sometimes have a hard time speaking their mind. They can become obsessed with fitting in. But when they stop attempting to be average and start appreciating their natural abilities, they discover that they are real life superheroes. They become visionary leaders and people follow them. When we put in the effort, we can pave the road for other people. When empaths get tired of shielding themselves and remaining silent, and when they become tired of feeling the world's depression, anxiety, and powerlessness, they become visionary leaders. When they seek to mend their internal wounds and confront their destructive habits, they can make a difference. First, they have to gain self-esteem and self-love. Number one, empaths can turn a negative situation into a favorable one. Empaths are just as aware of negativity as positivity they can come up with new methods to make something positive out of any jaded situation. They can transform negativity. When they feel there is a lack of energy, they can use their high energy plants or flowers. The most effective and simple technique is to speak a few good and encouraging words and thoughts to people who are tired. You can also utilize laughter to lift your spirits. After all, nothing beats a good laugh with friends. And if you liked this video, then check out these related videos to see more. And make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and we will personally reply to your comment.